Welcome back, folks. Sheepdog Smokey here. We have a rare three video day. This one is going to be very short because this is really an add-on to a couple of videos I did not long ago regarding Plato's Allegory of the Cave. To sum that up in a nutshell, the Allegory of the Cave is you are in a cave facing a wall with your back to the entrance. During the day, natural light will come in, but there is also a fire behind you. There are people between you and the fire that use objects to act out puppet shows. You then will see what they want you to see, so you cannot argue that what you see is not what they tell you. Only by turning your head do you see the puppeteers and the truth of the matter, and in that moment you escape the cave. It's very apt today because the vast majority of the mainstream media, and I include a lot of people on Fox with this, not just the very liberal media, have moved from journalist to opinion-based reporting. As I said in another video, I can remember a time when the news was who, what, when, where, and how, but nothing even approaching telling you why something happened. It was left to you to question and think and decide. Now, everything is, this is because people are racist. This is because taxes are too high on the middle class, but not high enough on the rich. This is because we need socialism. This is because we need the Democrats to win. This is because, and on and on and on. The media has become the puppeteer in the cave. Only when you stop watching them do you see them for the liars they are and the manipulators they are. And then you escape the cave. I don't watch cable news. I will watch segments of Hannity or Tucker or, or Laura Ingram when there is a segment I want to watch because those three, very specifically, are very good about not going too much into the opinion. They talk about it, and you can get their opinion, of course. As I was saying, you can see their opinion in it, but they very much bring, here's the who, the what, the when, the where, and the how. And they're very open that this is what they believe is the why. And from there, you ask questions. You look at the situation, and you then make up your own mind. If you watch Jim Acosta or Chris Aliza, Anderson Cooper, Chris Cuomo, you will see that they are not ever going to say that they are an opinion host. They are journalists reporting the news. But everything has a liberal bent that always aims to, we need to let the Democrats run everything. And that's wrong for any journalist to do for either side of politics. It, it just is. And when you stop watching them, and when you stop, depending on social media, yes, I'm active on Twitter. Uh, I tend to really just kind of get on, throw a few things out, and I don't watch it all day long. I, I'll look at it here and there, but that's about it. And I don't use Facebook. Uh, I have an account simply because I have to for certain websites, but I'm not, that, I'm not active hardly at all. I am right now because it's the only way to communicate with a certain, a, a few friends, but once this is all over, I'm done. You need to have that, that questioning mentality, so that you can ensure that you're actually able to get to the meat of an issue, get to the truth. So, I've talked a long, long time, uh, more than I intended, but I'm posting a link below to my Teespring store. Uh, right now, that is all I have, but... I hope to be able to expand and add more things. 
as topics come up. Right now it is just the Escape the Cave motif on white or some darker colors. Uh, I worked with a very talented person on Fiverr who was very good about talking and discussing things and making sure I got what I wanted and he came up with an amazing design. So I would, of course, like you to buy them. Uh, Teespring, of course, is in business to profit, of course, but it, it would help me as well because that will help ensure that I can grow the channel. I can, you know, ensure that I have a better microphone or a better camera or finish this out into an actual place that looks decent on camera. So I'm going to post that below and I will be very grateful for anyone who purchases. Uh, as always, there is the online tip jar with Cash App, uh, but I'm not hurting by any means. I mean, I have my job. This I do after work. I just do it in my spare time. I like to read, and if I wasn't doing this, I'd still be reading. I'd still be getting my books. This is just basically my soapbox. And I thank you for letting me climb up on it every night. That said, everyone have a wonderful evening and a great day tomorrow. Stay safe, stay smart, and stay healthy. And I will talk to you then. Until then, have a wonderful day.